you are all welcome in this video. Today we will see examples based on polygons and its diagonal. If you have learned about polygons well, now is the time to play a game. The rules of this game are very simple. You will be shown a shape here and you have to tell whether is it a polygon or not. Are you ready? Very good. Our first shape is a square. Is the square a polygon? Yes, the square has four sides and four vertices and is a simple closed curve. So, it is a polygon. Now we have I don't even know what to say. But is it a polygon? No. Because it is an open curve. It cannot be a polygon. What do you think about this? Perfect. This is a polygon. Can you name it? Because it has seven arms, it is a heptagon. Is the circle a polygon? The circle is a simple closed curve. Which does it have? Side, vertex or angles? So, it is not a polygon. Hmm, this looks something interesting. It is a simple closed curve, which also has sides and vertices. But it also has a curved part. Can it be a polygon with this curved part? We know that a polygon is a simple closed curve formed by joining line segments. So, this shape is not a polygon. Very nice. You all played this game very well. Let us now see another question. How many diagonals can a heptagon have? Let us first name this heptagon. We know that the line segments connecting any two vertices of a polygon except adjacent vertices are called diagonal. So let's start with the vertex A. Now let's draw a diagonal from the vertex B. Similarly, Draw diagonals from vertices C, D and E. When we try to draw diagonals from the vertices F and G, we find that all the diagonals formed from these vertices are already formed. Now, here you can see that from vertex A, 4. From vertex B, 4. From vertex C, 3. From vertex D, 2. From vertex E, one diagonal is formed. So, a heptagon can have a total of 14 diagonals. Today we understood about polygons and diagonals of polygons with the help of some examples.